Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the final video in this Django tutorial series where we will deploy our web app in Heroku. So now that we have done finished creating this website, we need to make it live so that everyone can see it and everyone can, you know, add reviews to the movies that we add. So to get started, just go to Heroku.com go ahead and you know create your account for free after you're done creating account go ahead and download heroku cli so all the links will be in the description go ahead and download for the you know operating system that you've got and after you're done downloading heroku and creating your you know account we will follow my blog where we where i have all the you know settings that you need to change in order to deploy the website so here is like you know step one install heroku tool belt which is the heroku cli so after yours you know let's let's clear this out and then see what we up to okay and we'll also get rid of this for right now of this okay yeah that's fine okay and then after we go to Heroku and then we download Heroku CLI and then we can go to, you know, command prompt and then do Heroku login. And then it will ask you to log in to your account that you just created. And I've already added it to my, you know, computer, so I shouldn't do it more time. And next is make your project Heroku friendly. So we need to add a couple of files. The first one is proc file so we will add a proc file in here so this is a file for heroku to recognize what sort of app we are you know uploading and then the project name is of course movie review and again the project name movie review save it and please keep in mind that the directory is right where the manage.py is and then next is requirements.txt so this is basically all the modules that the you know server that we put this website in needs to download so let's just copy this and paste it over here after that it's runtime.txt and our you know web app is going to be run running on python 3.7.0 so let's create that as well runtime.txt and then copy it and paste it again keep in mind it's all in the manage.py directory after that let's go to settings.py to set up static files for our live server so let's go to movie review settings.py and then you know we'll update this we'll just copy this and paste it right over here so this is our static storage and this is our you know database postgres sql and then we need to configure wsgi.py file we need to change a little bit it so let's go to wsgi.py control a control v and instead of nsa official we are going to write movie review which is our project name and now this is the deployment phase so I'm just skipping through all of, you know, all of the things and all the detailed steps are in my blog. Just simply just go ahead and follow it and there shouldn't be any problems. So after that, let's push all our changes to our Git repository. We'll just say git add git commit. We'll say production ready git push origin master so this would push our you know latest code to our repository and then we need to create a heroku app first and then push it to the heroku master so let's say heroku create and then we are going to say movie review 101 because there are a lot of movie review i guess so it's gonna create a movie review app and it just initializes with a 
remote repository to Heroku which our website will pull the changes from now we can simply say git push Heroku master and this should deploy the website and okay we have an error okay sorry just trying to expand this Heroku cannot detect the build pack to use no default language detected okay runtime is Python requirements should be requirements.txt okay so we made changes to our main you know source code so we are going to push it to our repository and then try to deploy it git commit dash m changed name git push or is it master and then finally git push heroku master okay it's saying building source it says python app detected and it's going to install all of these from requirements.txt let's just go ahead and keep watching what it's going to do and you can simply you know follow with this blog and it's pretty detailed about what you should do and then here are the after steps what you need to do is simply you know making migrations and running the migrate and then creating the super user but inside heroku so let's go ahead and check see these it's installing all of these over here and once it's done it should say successfully deployed and it's getting the static files compressing and done so it's deployed to move your review 101.herocoapp.com before accessing that link we will go ahead and run migrations real quick so that our database is fresh so we'll do heroku run python manage.py make migrations and then it will run migrations for us after that we'll do migrate migrate and so why are we doing this is because what database we had in our local development it's not going to stay that because we are using just sqlite 3 but in our live server we are going to be using postgres sql so that means all of our database is going to get deleted and then built again from these migrations and we'll just create our super user real quick super user and then I'll do admin okay it's not gonna work we'll just skip that part and it says super user created successfully we'll do Heroku open and if there was no error in the deployment it should open it okay yeah we got one error thank god so what it's saying is it says disallowed host and like I told you since we were running it locally we should give it access to run in a live server so we should allow it in the allowed host so we'll just copy this link and then paste it over here and then also give access to local host and then try to do it one more time so since we made changes to the source code we'll again push to our repository to make it up to date you know We'll say allowed host git push origin master and after that we'll git push Heroku master. So we're basically pushing to two repositories. One is for ourselves, like to you know push the latest code, and next is for the live website.
So it should skip installing all of those because it's already installed in the server, in the live server. So it shouldn't take that much time like the first one. Okay, so it's installing one more time. But it doesn't install it actually. It's just it's just saying it's installing, but it has already been installed in the live server. And it's saying installing collecting package collected packages. And it's collecting the static files, compressing, and it should be done in any minutes. And uh, the deployment process is not that, you know, confusing with Heroku. It's fairly simple. And if you go to like Mozilla's uh, documentation on how you can deploy your Django website to Heroku, they have it even better. And if you want like a simple version of how you want to do it, just follow along to my blog. Okay, it's been deployed. Let's say Heroku open. And again, it says you need you may need to add to a loud host which I already did and I don't know why it's not working let's try to get the admin and it's not working either the HTTPS oh, okay we should not add HTTPS because it's gonna read directly from that again one more time the more you do, the more you learn. We'll do allow host update it. Git push origin master. And then again to Heroku. I think there's one more issue. So git add, git commit changes, git push or is in master again it's not like a hectic process but if you miss like very minor things like i missed like i i typed https over here and it just does not take the push and it does not show us the website and if it goes right it should work this time let's hope so so till it's you know deploying the website let me show you the mozilla's website Mozilla deploy Django to Heroku. They have a pretty good documentation. So I'll put the link in the description for this and it has all like, you know, what is production environment and the hosting server and everything. It, ex it explains everything, each and everything in details. So here you can see runtime requirements and it has like, you know, a really, really long blog over here. And it's pretty good because the security key and stuff it's at it's it shows how you can you know make it more secure but mine is like a summary of what this website is so you can deploy a website using this one as well but if you want to understand like what we're doing in each steps then i would highly recommend you doing from this one over here and let's do heroku open let's hope this time it works and it did and for right now, we don't have any movies. So let's log in as admin. We'll do admin and let's not save it. And then add movies. So let's add the dark night. And like I told you, the database is all deleted. Cast is here. And then let's try to make it like a good movie. Entry. I mean, it's a good movie, it's just the, the entry. We just want to add a good entry to it. Let's copy this and paste it over here. And the release date was July 20, 2012. I think it's 06, sorry, 20. And let's give it an image. Oh, it's the Dark Knight Rises, okay. That works. Let's go to images and get some image for it. We'll go get for the Dark Knight Rises. Okay, 
open the image in new tab copy it URL go to our actual website and then we'll say Dark Knight Rises and we'll do add movies and there you go it adds the movies so when we search Rise and it will you know add the movie so let's try to log out and then register as a normal user we'll say normal 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 nor at mall.com and the password is not normal guys don't try to you know log in with a normal account and we'll say this was a fantastic movie I loved everything in this movie and we'll give it a rating of 8.5 and then we'll do add review and there you go it says normal this was a fantastic movie I loved everything in this movie and edit and delete so let's just try to edit it and then see let's try to give it a 9 here we'll do save changes and there you go so that's it for this tutorial series and whenever you go to this link you will definitely see this website because it's live now and anybody anywhere can access this website and after this tutorial series I was thinking of doing more intermediate and more advanced stuff in Django but I will definitely have to see the reactions of the audience in this tutorial series so let me know how you like the whole tutorial series and if you want more for Django or maybe any other frameworks just let me know in the comment section below and I'll try to create a tutorial for that as well and for now I think that's it and keep watching and subscribe to my channel thank you